Time now to talk about the volley and of course Roger Federer is using the volley more and more during the course of 2015, particularly under the guidance of Stefan Edberg. So just talk us through Roger Federer's volley. Um, I, I mean, he's improved it tremendously, not just the technique on the volleys, but also his movement at the net. But I think if we go to technique first, his forehand volley used to be quite open. Yeah. And I think a lot of players today are very open when they hit a forehand volley. I've sort of done some research with the forehand volley, and I think it's because they're so used to hitting the ball in front of them on the, on the full drive forehand that they have a problem hitting the volley behind them. But Roger Federer has, has, has started to turn much more. If you watch, let's say, Stefan Edberg when he volleys on the forehand side, he's turned the same way on the backhand side you're turned. He's turned on the forehand, and Federer is much better at that. His backhand volley was always pretty good. Yeah. His forehand volley was a weakness. But I think that the technique under the guidance of Stefan Edberg is simpler. And also, when Federer comes to the net these days, it actually looks like he enjoys being up there. Yeah. And he doesn't mind, you know, know that when we used to play, just get a racket on the ball, and the ball might, might sort of uh, go over the net, and you might win it, especially on grass courts. Federer wasn't that keen on doing that before now. He hits a good first volley and then he keeps moving forwards and he's willing to, to win sort of a cheapish point. Yeah, and you mentioned first volley because of course back in the 80s when we saw people up at the, uh, mm. up at the net more and more and we had that big sort of tee uh, cutting out of the, of the grass court. The first volley for Federer now is vastly improved isn't it? because that's actually a very tricky shot around that, that uh, service line, isn't it? It's very tricky and uh, it's, it, it was easier, I think, in our day because we used to come to the net more often, so you get some practice. Uh, and the first volley is huge. For Roger Federer to win here at Wimbledon this year, he needs to volley well, he needs to volley often, and it always starts, of course, with the first volley. So he's always talked about he wants to serve and volley his way to a Wimbledon title once. And, uh, and I think he has a good chance this year. But I think the first volley, the difference here as well for Federer is that he used to come in very upright. Yeah. And he's way lower down now. And if you remember the Pat Cash, Stefan Edberg, uh, Patrick Rafter, always so deep in the knees. And Federer never used to be, but he is today. In terms of the volley, because the modern volleyers do it less than the, the, the volleyers in your day, I guess, but it's, it's more of that cutting motion on the forehand volley, isn't it? Whereas some of the modern volleyers volley a little bit flatter, would you say, which mm. doesn't get that ball to travel. But is that something that Federer is now introducing more to his volley? That's exactly it. I think that he's cutting the forehand volley a little bit more. He was always very good at cutting the backhand volley. Mm. Of course, sometimes even cut it too much on the backhand side, puts too much backspin on the ball. But on the forehand side, and I think it has to do with the grip he's using, also the fact that he turns his shoulder, so now it's easier to cut. But I think today's players, they tend to hit a flatter forehand volley because they tend to hit the ball in front of them. Mm -hmm. And the volleys, as much as you need to reach as far in front as possible, it mustn't be uh, so far in front that you lose your technique. Yeah. So it still needs to be in here somewhere. Yeah. And I think that's where Federer has improved as well. And is it a different mindset now in terms of coming forward that the first volley needs to be deep and then you're looking to finish off the point with the second volley as opposed to, you know, maybe over the last what decade or so, volleyers have been trying to do the dry volley, mm. trying to hit a, a quicker volley winner earlier in the point, whereas now they're actually trying to use that first volley around that service line. No, definitely. And I think on grass here at Wimbledon, you're going to see the players using it way more as well because here, we, they might not plan the attack, but you are going to have to come into the net more often because there are more balls that bounce in the middle of the court that has a low bounce yeah. and you literally you can't hit it and go backwards. So, yeah. you, so players hit way more first volleys uh, on the grass uh, and, and it's really about being willing to win the point in let's say an ugly way, making the first volley and forcing your opponent to hit a passing shot. And the best volleyers in the world, they're not necessarily have the best technique. The best volleyers in the world are the ones that cover the net. And Roger it's Federer, the exactly, yes. Yeah. So Roger Federer covers the net way more these days uh, than he used to. Fantastic stuff. OK, so there's some more tips on the volley, one of the key shots in Roger Federer's repertoire.